tornadoes decimated Railroad Square just a little over six months ago. And while some may think that that put a complete stop to business here, several businesses are open and have been working hard since May 10th to keep it that way. I'm Kenya Cardone at Railroad Square. I spoke to a few of them about why now more than ever, they need the community to shop local. You know, it's difficult when your livelihood is kind of taken away in a swift, you know, morning. May 10th, a swift morning that the neighbors and businesses of Railroad Square will never forget. Businesses like North Florida Collective. We had an outside area and destroyed most of that, and we had part, part of our roof ripped off. Keith Pogge says the tornadoes destroyed his plant business, leaving him and his wife in limbo for months before they would manage a relocation within the square. Now they're looking forward to their reopening on the 23rd, but he says there's been a bit of misconception ever since the tornadoes painted the art district ruined. There's been a lot of businesses kind of leaving the square and a lot of people don't realize that there are still businesses here. I mean, even last month we were hearing people, it's like, oh, I thought everything was gone. And you know, obviously they get here and it's not. Flipping great pinball right around the corner has been up and running since the tornadoes ripped its roof off. There was a literal waterfall coming through the ceiling in the back. Owner Rob McDole says the damage here has seared into his memory and the communities for that matter, but that in itself is playing a role in slower business at the art district. Obviously we had some buildings destroyed, those have been demoed, but uh, the majority of the squares here, the businesses are open and you know, they're ready for customers. They're hoping this holiday season, neighbors will help boost revenue by spending their money locally. We have of course uh, Black Friday, which is all the corporate event stuff and then small business Saturday after that. And while some spots are planning for those specials to draw in some much needed foot traffic, there's a bigger task at hand for others. We haven't really planned that far ahead for that. We just want to be open. Uh, it's hard enough to, to just be open nowadays. So uh, yeah, I mean, we just want to just have the doors open and have people come, coming into the square and hanging out. Small Business Saturday is on November 30th. At Railroad Square, Kenya Cardone, ABC 27.